Tom, 2017, it's the World Cup year now that we're into. Tickets just gone on sale. It's an exciting year to come. Yes, absolutely. You know, we've been building for this for the last um, two years now. Um, so it's, uh, it's, uh, it's great to have it here finally, um, 2017. There's a bit of work to do before the, uh, before the World Cup um, in relation to the Six Nations. But, um, but with, the, with, with the tickets gone on sale now, um, it just goes to show that it's, uh, it's, it's almost here on top of us now. And uh, it's, uh, it's very, very exciting. And uh, hopefully uh, we can do ourselves justice. And we had three big games in November in UCD. Looking to get forward to get back to that venue. Yes, absolutely. There were uh, there were three matches against the, the three best teams in the world, arguably, um, and you'd put France in there as well as uh, a, a, as one of those. So it's uh, it was uh, it was a great experience for the girls. It was a great experience for us as management, uh, just to see uh, how how in fairness how brilliant UCD is. So it's uh, it was uh, it was brilliant, uh, and the learnings that we've taken out of it uh, are worth the weight in gold. And hopefully we can uh, employ a few of those in the uh, in the Six Nations coming up. And the fans really turned out in UCD for those three games. It was great atmosphere. So, looking forward to seeing more of them uh, come August. Absolutely. You know, that was the that was the one thing that uh, you know that. The, the players really, really found uh, invigorating was the uh, was the support that they got for for all three games. Obviously, the results in uh, in all three of them didn't go our way, but you know we'll uh, we, we we'll take it on the chin and we'll learn from that. But the the support has been brilliant, and uh, it just uh, it, it augurs well for the uh, for the World Cup in uh, this year. Yeah, definitely. I think you know it's 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 in touching distance now, eight or nine months in, and um, you know we're obviously really looking forward to it. Tickets are on sale now, so it's um, you know it's, it's definitely starting to, to really hit home. But uh, we're, we're a lot of work to do before then, and uh, Scotland first up in Six Nations is what we're concentrating on. And just with the Six Nations coming up, obviously France will be one of the teams that we have in the group in the pool stages of the World Cup uh, in UCD. So excited to play against them and the other two teams in the group pool stages. Yeah, I think you know it's obviously a really tough group. I think in a tournament with 12 teams, there's going to be no really easy games. So um, Australia and. Um, Japan, these two huge, you know, rugby nations in the sense that Japan are starting to put loads and loads of money in. They're hosting the next Men's World Cup. It's it's a big deal for them. Um, Australia are starting to get another seven girls back now, and then obviously, you know, we know France very well, and just like they know us. So um, I think that the battle in Six Nations will be very interesting. Um, and then just finally, you played the last game in UCD in the November series. Fans there were great, so hoping to see a similar sort of turnout and a bigger turnout. Yeah, absolutely. I think in in fairness, you know, the Irish public have always really, really supported us, and um, even when we haven't given them much to, to be shouting about. But um, I think you know the November series was great. It's like a dry run for us for for the World Cup, and um, I think the fans that got to come in and experience it as well will will have appreciated what it's all about and, and how close they are to the action and that kind of thing. So yeah, look, I hopefully they'll get out in their numbers and 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 really get behind us. Women's Rugby World Cup, Ireland, August 2017. Bring it.